Hi guys. I'm going to do a live, obviously. <laughs> we are going to do 2019 readings for all of the signs. Um, I put a post up that I'm not going to be doing, um, I'm not going to be doing my daily readings, you know, my daily insights, um, for the month of January, because I'm going to be participating in the 31 days of tarot, um, by Ethany. So let me sage my phone here. I just did like a bunch of readings right now for clients. So, <laughs> um, Ethany does, she creates the 31 days of tarot challenge and you can participate that in that as well. Just check out ethany.com on her website. She has a post on her blog post for that. So anyways, um, she does the 31 days of tarot and I figure I am going to participate in that instead of doing the daily insights. So um, this, this live will be on replay. So if you guys can't make it or you can't stay for the whole thing, that's okay. Um, but I just wanted to do some sort of a reading for everybody, um, for all of the signs because I won't have the daily insights. So let's just jump right into it. If you guys want to catch my 31 days of tarot challenge, I'm going to be posting it on Instagram as well as on my YouTube channel. So there will be a video and then there'll be like a quick little Instagram post so that you guys can see it. But if you want to also participate in the 31 days of tarot challenge, check out Ethany's website, ethany.com or at Ethany um, on Instagram. And she's the one that creates it all. And we just participate and it's a good way to kind of like you know, do something tarot related once every single day for the whole 31 days of January, as well as like just mingle with everybody in the tarot community. So let's do readings. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull cards for all of the four elements and we'll associate all of your signs within that because um, otherwise if I go through <laughs> all 12 zodiac signs, we'll be here forever. Um, I'm gonna be working with my new deck. This is the Game of Thrones Tarot. I love Game of Thrones. I hope you guys like Game of Thrones, but I thought winter is coming. Winter is here. Let's just use the Game of Thrones tarot. It's so pretty and the card stock is so nice in this deck. So ah, it shuffles like a dream. Um, go ahead and leave a comment. What's, um, what, what, um, what sign are you guys and whoever we have the most of here that I see if you're a water Water, air, fire, or earth sign. We will start with you guys first. <laughs> so go ahead and list in the comments what you are. And then we'll see who has the majority. And we'll just start with the majority first. And like I said, if you can't stay, don't worry about it. There will be a replay so you can catch later. So we got some waters. Libra, we have an air. We have some airs in here. Earthies. Looks like we have a nice even amount. Do we have any fire signs in here right now? <laughs> Our fire signs are probably out getting shit done rather than being inside. <laughs> are you planning on getting the Santa Muerte Tarot? I want to, yes. I think that would be a fun one to have to add to the collection. Another Libra. So it looks like our errors are overpowering. So we may start with air. Okay, let's start with the air first. And then we'll go into water. And I think our fires will be last. Because <laughs> I don't think we have any fire signs in here. So we'll do air first and then let's do water after, okay? <clears throat> I'm going to be working with four different decks. I'm just going to be pulling cards from all four. Um, I'm going to be pulling, or um, I'm sorry, chakra cards from the Chakra Insight Oracle. So for the air signs, which are Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, 
Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Let's see what's going on with you guys for the month of January. So we have sacral chakra. <laughs> I almost forgot what month we're in. <laughs> okay. Sacral chakra, so air signs. You guys are going to be dealing with a lot of sexual, creative energies. Sacral chakra rests in your womb, your abdomen area. It is the energy of, like I said, sexual connections, your hormones. Um, it's all about your creativity, your creation, your ability to create different ways. Um, so this month, you might be feeling quite inspired. Let's pull some tarot with that. Oh, oh, so we got three of swords. Three of swords is popping up. Some of you guys may have recently, oh, we got the hermit and the knight of swords. So this might be really specific for some of you, but some of you air signs um, might have been fresh out of a relationship and now you're feeling your mojo coming back, okay? So some of you who have been fresh out of a relationship, fresh out of some sort of a commitment. Maybe you're starting to feel more free again. Those of you who are air signs tend to kind of, you know, flutter from one thing to another. This could also be breaking an interest. So maybe you recently came out of some sort of a project or a, a job, some sort of binding. Okay. So the three of swords doesn't just have to be relationship breakups. This could be breakups with your job, breakup with um, an old, a bad habit. January is a good time for bringing in new habits or starting new goals and stuff. So maybe you guys are fresh out of something. The hermit card is kind of saying maybe some of you are stepping into being single again. Okay. So like I said, if you are fresh out of a relationship, you might be starting your, your new year single with the hermit. Or some of you are saying, you know what, I need to stop going out, stop spending money as much. I got to stay in, start budgeting, coming up with a budget, dealing with, you know, saving some money. That's what that her hermit card energy can say. And then we have the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords can be a certain individual in your life. This could be someone that you broke up with, okay? They were Knight of Swords vibe. They were maybe very impulsive. Maybe they were too expressive you know they said too much they they constantly were like ver word vomiting all over the place <laughs> a knight of swords energy can also be maybe you want to slow it down a bit because knight of swords side side by side hermit usually knight of swords is like fast fast paced energy or like constantly on the go constantly moving you're constantly thinking constantly talking which is natural for air energy you guys like probably talk a mile a minute i'm a gemini rising so i do tend to talk a mile a minute when i get into the zone um but that side by side hermit is asking you to slow it down okay tone it down take some time slow down Think before you speak. You know what I mean? Like concentrate, learn to meditate a little bit, maybe once or twice. Sometimes it's hard for some of my air signs to kind of focus that way, like just to, to stop everything else around you and to like tune in. So some of you guys may having may have a lot going on in the background. Your solar sacral chakra is kind of just saying like, this is a time for you to tune into your creation zone. Maybe learning a way to self-express um, in a more healthy way, okay? Let's see what the Moonology Oracle, let's see what comes up for you guys. It just seems kind of like the vibration for you air signs is more of like, you're gonna go inward more, okay? taking, toning it down, going inward and doing a lot of like expression, but like, um, creation in your own way, be bold and make the first move, be bold and make the first move. So like I said, some of you are getting out of a relationship. Some of you are getting out of some bad habits and you're kind of like, Oh my God, I'm so used to doing things a certain way or being with a certain someone. How am I going to, you know, how am I going to function? You're going to kind of find your own move. So the moon card is kind of saying, be bold in your own way. This is kind of just like saying, take initiative, okay? Don't be afraid. 
take initiative. This may be uncharted territory for some of you. Maybe some of you haven't been single for a while. Maybe it's the opposite. Maybe you're stepping into a relationship. So you broke up with your single self. You know, it could be different for everyone. You're all going to relate to this in a different way. But basically what that is saying is um, be bold and make your first move is don't be afraid to try new things this month of January, especially when it comes to your creative insights. Okay. If something, if there's a certain certain topic, a certain subject that is tickling your interest, this is the month to get into it and start doing that. And last but not least, let's see what spirit animal you come up with. The horse spirit. Freedom is yours. I love it. So like I said, some of you who are dealing with a recent breakup or a recent um, walking away from a bad habit, walking away from a job, walking away from something. You have been separating yourself this new year. Maybe you are setting resolutions to change. Um, the freedom is yours. So this is this month is going to be focused on setting yourself free in your own way. But I would say tone it down a bit with that Knight of Swords side by side. The Hermit is take it slow. Okay, don't set too much for yourselves too quickly. Okay. Take it slow, take it day by day. The month of January, I feel like you just need to kind of float on through, get used to your, your bearings and everything. Um, and focus on something that makes you feel like you want to create, something that inspires you. Also your sexual energy. <laughs> if you came out of a relationship, you may be going into hiding a little bit. Sexual energy might be pushed out of the way. You might be losing your mojo. Some of you might be starting to feel your mojo coming back. So it just depends where you're at. But that's what I see here. So that is for my air signs. Let's talk about the water now. So my water signs, water signs are Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Let's see what the month of January is looking like for you guys. Let's start with our chakra card. This one. Sacral chakra again. Okay. So sacral chakra for my Pisces, uh, Cancer, and Scorpio water signs. Again, sexual energy. Now, the vibration that I'm feeling, because I'm going to put this in line with myself because I'm also a water sign, really feeling in tune with your sexual energy. I feel like this is really coming one with yourself, being more confident and more comfortable in yourselves, okay? The month of January, this is really stepping outside into the limelight energy that I'm feeling for us, okay? Usually, we're kind of... Maybe we kind of move into the background a little bit. We don't want a lot of focus and attention on us. Um, but maybe this month of January, maybe some of you set some resolutions to actually put yourselves out there. Okay, so maybe that's what that sacral chakra vibe is talking about. Others of us, we might be feeling really... Um, like real fluid, you know, like really, really good. We might be feeling our sexual energy on fire. Some of us might be actually trying to conceive. You never know. That could pop up too. We are very close to achieving your goal. So water signs, you're very close to achieving a goal. I think it's really important that when we're setting goals, especially resolutions, that we don't just think long term, we do small little ones too. So very close to achieving a goal. What is your like what are little baby goals that you guys could set for yourself for the month of January that are quick for you to achieve? Some of that is is kind of saying maybe this is um some, you know, some little stuff, little things that you're trying to achieve, changing your eating habits, um, trying to cook more at home. I know for me, that's one for me is cooking more at home, um, saving a certain dollar amount or, um, you know, little goals like that. But this could also be achieving a, a long term goal. Maybe there was something that you had been setting for yourself for the whole year of 2018 that you might start to see happening for you in January. So again, this is for water signs. I hear it pull from the middle, so let's pull from the middle. My cards are still new, so they stick together. 
Sandpiper Spirit, be playful. Oh my gosh. So this definitely goes hand in hand with the sacral chakra. Like I said, some of you water babies, you're feeling really sexual, really playful, flirty, okay? This might be the month. Maybe you'll be meeting somebody. Maybe you'll be flirting. You'll be, play you'll be feeling more playful. Maybe this card can say, you know, getting yourself into doing activities that, that are a little bit out of your norm. I feel like for a lot of us water signs, the month of January is really good for us to just do something different. Do something different from what we're usually used to doing. Let's see what the tarot has to say. So we have the emperor. That is um, very leadership energy, okay? Some of us could be stepping into those roles this month. Emperor could also be a certain someone in our lives, okay? So this could be a significant other or father energy. Ooh, we have a sun card. Remember how I was talking about sacral chakra? Some of us may be trying to conceive, that's father, and then we have baby with the son. Some of us may be actually conceiving. You never know. Some of that might pop up. Some of you water babies might actually find out you're pregnant, okay? And then we have two of spears. So the two, the two of spears usually makes me think of moving, thoughts of moving, thoughts of moving, you know, um, uh, long term, okay? Some of you guys may be thinking about that. Others of you might be thinking about a vacation, travel, that's what two of spears can be. Um, this one's also looking at the other, like the bigger picture, seeing what else, you know, not, not just being like looking at like what's right in front of you. It's also looking at the whole picture as a whole. I feel like that with the two of spears too. Um, if we're looking at this side by side, this could also be some of us having father figures that we're not seeing eye to eye with. Okay. That's also popping up for me. So some of us water energies, I know myself included, we might have father figures that we're a little bit challenged with. So this might pop up for the month of January. There might be some of that. We might actually be reconciling, okay, with a certain someone with that sun card. The two of spears and the sun card, this could be like being caught in the middle of something. Always look at the more optimistic path, okay? So if you, some of you guys are feeling maybe caught in the middle this could be caught in the middle between two people, two lovers. You always want to go with the choice or with the person or the event that makes you feel good, that makes you feel positive. You don't want to, you know, you know what I mean? Like, listen to your gut, um, your sacral chakra. I, it's not really the gut, but it's like, it's just like you, you'll feel it. You'll feel when things are good. I feel like the overall energy with being playful and the sun is also for January focus for us water signs is to don't take it too seriously. Don't take the month of January super serious. Kind of go with the flow. If there's like a certain someone, like I said, that father energy that might you might be like butting heads with or whatnot, try to be as optimistic about it as you can. Approach things gentle. Um, what else do I want to say? I don't know. There's like a lot of like little feelings coming up that I that I see for us water signs. But one of the big ones is some of us might be receiving pregnancy announcements. Like we might be seeing baby happening. <laughs> That's just the feeling that I get. Um, but other than that, I feel like for us, it's going to be a good month. I feel like it's going to be some of us will be achieving goals. Um, but it's really good to stay positive and um and and trust our gut go trust our gut instincts i really like to also look at how that two of spears the little dragons in the background and then we have the sun the dragon so i don't know you guys there's going to be some good news coming i feel for a lot of us water signs and that can come in different ways so we'll see how that transpires okay let's do we have some more people in here so we just did air and water what should we do next? Should we do earth or fire? What do you guys want to see next? Earth or fire? And there will be a replay. So if I already did, um, if I already did your sign and you came in too late, it'll be there. You could, you could watch the replay. So earth or fire, which one should we do? Earth? <laughs> Let's see who there's more of. Oh, we're even right now. Oh, there we go for fire. There's like an even amount of you guys. Okay, let's do earth. 
Earth is next. There's not a lot of fire signs in here. That's kind of funny. Like I said, you got, your fire signs are probably out and about right now, having fun. The rest of us are cooped up at home, trying to stay warm. <laughs> okay, earth signs. So earth signs are um, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. So earthy signs, what chakra energy? Ooh, ooh, the heart chakra. So for my earthy signs, the heart chakra is revealing your heart source, okay? So a lot of love, okay? A lot of emotions running through some of you. Heart chakra, heart, blah, blah, blah. heart chakra is like the way that you feel, um, the, the, the amount of love that you put out there into the world, what kind of love you receive self-love this is like romantic love all of the above love <laughs> so let's see what's going on and again this is for the earth signs okay we got four of swords the page of cups and the queen of spears Ooh. okay <sighs> page of cups some of you, some of you earthies, my single earthy signs, there could be someone coming into your life in the month of January. This does not just have to be love related, but this could be somebody who really inspires you, has a message for you, okay? So pages of cups are usually messengers. This is somebody that will say something that'll trigger you in, in a positive way. It could be a negative way. Um, the queen of spears, this could be either yourself or this could be, um, an, an individual in your life. Um, these are usually people who are very brave and outspoken. Um, they're very, um, like go getters. They know what they want to do. They, they're, they're very passionate about everything that they do. So they could be inspiring to you. Um, or this could be the kind of energy that you should be kind of embracing for yourself because it's heart chakra energy with the queen of wands. I feel like this is more so everything that you tackle for the month of January, make sure it comes from your heart source. So make sure that everything that you are doing this month, whether you are putting stuff out there or what you're receiving, it comes from the heart source, okay? Things that you love to do. You should be surrounding yourselves with all of the things that you love. Earthy energies, you guys are always, you know, you, you know how to do that. You love the beautiful things in life. You pay attention to all the details. You love the good foods. You love the, you just love everything beautiful. So I feel like I could see that, that, that heart chakra stuff will resonate with you guys this month. Everything that is beautiful. This could also mean maybe cleaning out house, okay? I know a lot of us do the spring cleaning, but I feel like for some of you earthy signs, this is just coming up intuitively. Like I feel some of you earthy signs need to do a big cleanse in your home. And this should go for anybody for the new year to cleanse your home. But I feel like you earthy signs, this is like keeping, like getting out some of the clutter and surrounding yourselves with beauty, okay? Photos, um, colors, repainting the walls a certain color, like a war, more warmy colors. Beauty, like you want to surround yourself with beautiful things. The animal spirit. Sandpiper came up again, being playful. So again, some of you earthy signs, being more playful. Don't take things too seriously. Um, be more relaxed. Be more, um, just don't take, don't take the month of January super serious. This should be a time of having fun. I think a lot of us, like when we step into January, we're thinking, oh my gosh, it has to be perfect. We have to do it this. It's the first month. It's the first month of the year. Everything has to just take it day by day. Take it day by day. Um, again, the Four of Swords. Four of Swords is like that card of rest, relaxing, meditation. So my earthy signs, get grounded okay with that four of swords it's very important get grounded for you guys um and i feel like just get clean wash <laughs> cleanse your homes clean you know what i mean like when you when your house is clean and you, you got the laundry done and everything you're gonna feel good you're gonna feel really good in our moonology we have work through your fears the new moon in scorpio 
working through fears. So that could be a little shadow aspect for some of you earthy signs, working through some of your fears. What are some of the fears that you have? You know, this is something for you to think about. What are some of the things that come up? What are some of the things that, you know, you want to tackle for the year of 2019? Um, don't feel like you have to do it all at once. You know what I mean? And maybe that's why it's so important for you guys to surround yourself with beautiful stuff to remind you that everything's going to be okay. Okay. So that's the other kind of thing that I got. Um, let's see what else. Let's see if anything else comes through. I, like I said, I feel like with that page of cups, this is this is someone entering your life. For some of you who are single, this could be you know a new possible love interest. Um, this could also just be like some random customer at work. This could be a friend. Someone's gonna say something that will highly impact you this month, my Earth signs. Okay. Um, other than that, though, with the heart chakra. Um, you know, to remind yourselves to surround yourself with beauty and whatnot, but also maybe associate more green into your life or eating more greens. That could be literal for some of you earth signs. Maybe you you indulge too much in the treats, you know, the sweet treats and whatnot. And um, the month of January, you should do more focus on some more green eating. That's another thing that's coming through too. I think that's it. I think that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> I hope this like, resonates for some of you guys okay last but not least let's do our fire signs and like i said you guys if you if i um if you came in late and i already did what you what you are you know what i mean i did water no i did air first and then water there will be a replay so just catch me on the replay okay so last but not least my fire signs that is aries leo and sagittarius what is your January looking like? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Those two want to come out. And we're going to pull a chakra card for you guys. I haven't been able to read the comments. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm not ignoring anyone. <laughs> I'm just trying to stay focused. Fire. Yes. Okay, fire signs. You got the crown chakra. Crown chakra sits at the top of your head. This is your communication with spirit. This is your connection to the divine. This is your spirituality. This is your faith, okay? So I love it for you guys. Um, you guys are gonna be feeling more in tune psychically. You guys are gonna be feeling really in tune spiritually. Um, this is investing new faith. Okay, so some of you guys, I feel like some of you have maybe doubted a lot of things faith wise, and that's like that that's the vibe I'm getting for some of you. It's gonna be reinstated in the month of January. So I love it. So your connection to spirit. Some of you guys may be receiving validation from spirit throughout the month of January. It's it's coming for you guys. I like that. I'm really happy that that came up. Okay, so for the tarot, I pulled the Knight of Coins, the, the Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. All right, so when, first things first with my air signs, money is on the mind. Money is on the mind with some of you guys. Um, the other thing, some of you are dealing with maybe some not so pleasant people, okay? So my fire signs, there might be somebody who, this could be someone at work, with that seven of swords someone who may not be super truthful someone who may be planting some doubts in your head you know what i mean there's always that one person that's got to burst the bubble for everyone else that's what that seven of swords is making me feel like um i feel like also some of you fire signs will be receiving some sort of abundance in money okay with that knight of coins i feel like like he's handing the coin off that's just that's just giving me the feeling of like some of you are going to be receiving Maybe a little bit extra in the paycheck you weren't expecting or you'll have just enough to pay off that bill or whatnot. You're going to start you're, you're going to start off really good. Um, you guys are also really hard workers. You guys are always busy doing your thing. And I like that the eight of coins popped up for you guys because to me that's kind of saying you're putting in a lot of hard work. And you know that you associate the beginning of the, the month, the beginning of the new year. 
you're going to be putting in a lot of hard work with your eight of coins. Um, the stag spirit came up for you guys, which is too perfect because all of you fire signs are already leaders. Stag spirit came up with take the lead. So <laughs> this is taking the initiative too. Some of you guys need to take the initiative and speak up. I'm feeling like intuitively, I'm, I'm getting really shaky as I'm like feeling you guys. I feel like a lot of you guys are just like, I, I got to say this. I got to say this to this person. So take the initiative, like take the lead. That's like the vibration I'm feeling. Like I feel like I'm all, oh. <laughs> so I feel like some of you are so like pumped. Um, there's a lot of energy with a lot of you fire signs. You guys have so much energy. So find a way to, to, um, to get it out. I also feel like with that seven of swords, some of you know who that person is. That person who's just being so negative, that negative Nancy, just cut them off. Um, I feel like, or, you know, tell them how it is and then cut them off. Um, some of you have been waiting way too long to say that, just that one spe specific person. <laughs> so, okay, you guys got the full moon in Scorpio. You got, it's time to release negativity. <laughs> So as I was saying that about the seven of swords, there's that one person releasing that negativity. Some of you have been holding your tongue and as fire signs, that's gotta be, that's gotta be freaking hard for some of you. Um, it's time for you to say it, spill it, tell them, take initiative, take the lead, let this person know I'm done, I can't deal with this anymore and move on. Um, I feel like that's what that is saying with that. As far as your finances go, definitely January, money is on the mind for a lot of you. And then what was the other thing I was getting? Your spiritual connection like this. I feel like some of you are going to be, like I said, reinstated with faith. Some of you have, may have lost it the last couple months. You may have had some tough times or um, just, you know, not a lot of good things happening. You're going to be feeling like your faith coming back. You're going to feel more connected to spirit in this month of, of, of January. Um, but I also feel like the, a lot of you, like I don't feel it as much right now, <laughs> but earlier I was like getting all jittery. I feel like a lot of you have so much energy, you fire signs, um, that you need to find a way to get it out. And um, like I said, exercise, running, that kind of thing. Um, or you got to get a lot of the verbal stuff out. You got to just release. No more holding your tongue. Okay. Yes. <laughs> So that feels good. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we did all four um, signs. We did, you know, we did air, water, earth, and fire. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I feel really good for the month of 20, the month, the year 2019. I feel like, hi. Oh, hi, Raquel. Um, I feel like the, the year 2019 is going to be so, so good. Um, I don't know. I just feel it. Like, I think that this is going to be a year of a lot of receiving. Like, that was the word. Like, I was thinking about, you know, what would I, what would I think of? Like, what word would describe how I feel for 2019? And I feel like this is receiving, like receiving payout. You know, like when it's payday and you're, you got that check in your hand and you're like, yes, I feel like that's what 2019 is for a lot of us. A lot of us have been waiting for a lot of things. A lot of us have been putting in a lot of work for stuff. And I feel like 2019 is when a lot of us are going to finally receive our gifts. <laughs> and throughout the year, I'm not just talking about just the month of January, but I feel like throughout the year, a lot of us are finally going to be getting what we've been waiting so long for. Um, so I wish all of you a beautiful rest of the day. Thank you so much for tuning in to my live. Um, like I said, I will be putting this in the replay so you can catch it later. Um, and yeah, you guys, I'm going to be doing more lives throughout the month. Um, and also I will be participating in 31 days of tarot. So you could catch that on my Instagram posts or also on my YouTube channel. Um, I will be doing that instead of my daily insight posts, at least for the month of January. And then February, we'll go back to, you know, what I usually do. <laughs> but until then, thank you guys for tuning in and I will talk to you later. Bye, my